This episode is sponsored by CuriosityStream. So since being in quarantine and lockdown again, I've become a lot more obsessed with plants. Maybe it's the fact that I haven't seen a single soul in months, or maybe it's the fact that I'm over 30 and suddenly somehow enjoy doing chores. This is literally what I do in my spare time now for fun. Here's the thing. I am incredibly bad at taking care of plants. Truly every plant you've ever seen in one of our videos is taken care of by Greg because I'm too scared of putting it in the wrong spot. Over overwatering it, neglecting it, completely forgetting about it. Can you tell I have anxiety? So I wanted to create an experiment where I would test which plants last the longest in zero light because I need something low maintenance. But first, let's talk about the plants that we're actually gonna be testing. I reached out to one of my favorite plant YouTubers, Nick Pileggi, who has almost 500 houseplants in his home. So which plants are facing off in our challenge? ZZ plant, Chinese evergreens, or aglaenemas are probably the best foliage houseplant for lower light corners. Dracaena, pothos is a great option for a hanging basket. Spider plants, peace lily or spathophyllum is another great option for a floor plant that's large. The satin pothos or the syndapsis is just a wonderful house plant. Snake plant, ferns are a great option for low light. Prayer plants or marantas are a much more showy house plant. The fishbone prayer plant is a tenanthi. It's very closely related to marantas. However, I think in my experience, they are much easier to care for. Nick, be honest. Is this sacrilegious that I'm intentionally taking light away from the plants? I'm actually very curious to see how this would go. Maybe on my end, people might look at me and think that's not okay, but for science, I think it's fantastic. Dear plants, this is your last few moments of light. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Good luck. And don't fuck it up. We thought it'd be fun to name them. This is Beyonce. Beyonce? This is Shakira. <laughs> Lady Gaga. This is gonna be Viola Davis. Charlie XCX, because <laughs> she's like alternative. Hallelujah, this is Shangela. I said that so bad, like hallelujah. hallelujah. Into the dungeon. Let's start. Okay. This room has zero windows. Look around, we're in the basement. They're just gonna stay down here. Bye, sweeties. Do you have any advice ahead of time for this experiment? Stuff I should be aware of or look out for? Honestly, just to be mindful with the watering, I think a heavy hand is really going to be the death sentence for this experiment. So when in doubt, just do not water your plants until you think they absolutely need it. Of course, not much happened in the first week, but around the 10 day mark, the first signs of trouble showed up. Okay, plants day 10, time to see where we're at. Hey, Ooh. looks kind of the same, which is a good thing. I have been coming in here every few days, checking the moisture levels, watering as needed. Zelda! So I feel like this one is maybe suffering the most. Oh wow, yeah. So most of the tips are starting to kind of go. I'll keep an eye on this every day and see. Because I still want to salvage it. Yeah, no, we won't let her get too sick. Another 10 days and the first casualties started falling. Day. 20. Wow, wow, we're gonna go take a look at how the plants are doing. For 20 days, they're mostly looking pretty good, don't you think? I'm really impressed. Shangela. It's not looking bad, but you can start to see some of them are yellowing, and I've noticed Looks this. pretty bad. Do you think? I mean... <laughs> but I feel like it's still okay. There's still lots of greenery on this. These two, I haven't watered a single time. Look, fully wet. Zelda's really suffering. All the leaves are like... Crusty, I could probably... Oh wait, we should say, I think we should yeah. save that. Literally, Zelda always has to be saved. I don't know, day 20, Bad Bunny, do you think that's okay to take it out? Cause yeah, it's not gonna win. We have to save Bad Bunny. Zelda, Bad Bunny, you're out of the competition. Okay, Zelda, time to go to our little plant sanctuary over by the window. <laughs> Hope you'll do better here. You too, Bad Bunny. Come on, let's go by the window. Here you go. Around 30 days in, and a few more were ready to come back to the light. Keith, oh no. You did good, Shangela. You don't really want a plant to look like this, and this is one of the ones that I think is really pretty and want to keep. So Shangela, I'm gonna save you now. Okay, girl, you can come over here with these ones. Now that we're slowly collecting these injured plants, I thought it would be prudent to have a segment I like to call How to rehab your dying plants after you've completely neglected them for days or weeks or months even. What is the best way to rehab a plant that's 
dying or has parts of it that are dying? First and foremost, I would say to increase the lighting, of course, I wouldn't necessarily just throw it in a bright south facing window in the northern hemisphere because that's going to have a lot of direct sunlight that's just going to burn your plant. But if you have like, say, a north or an east facing window, that's going to be much more dappled light. Of course, trim up your plant remove any brown edges or yellowing or browning leaves. You can actually just kind of like lightly pull it off with your fingers, but if you want to be more careful, you can just use some shears and make sure that you're being the best plant parent you probably could. After taking care of my wounded little angels, something happened. Or rather, something didn't happen. Okay, you're not gonna believe it, but it is day 63, and I have not taken any plants out since the last time I went in, which was around day 30. To be honest, I kind of forgot that this challenge was going on because a lot of the plants that are in there right now don't require a lot of watering, so I've just left them, and then I just kind of went on with my life and forgot that this was happening. A lot of the plants that are left also haven't really required a lot of water, so that's why I was able to sort of leave them, but there are maybe one or two that I could have taken out a few days before this, so hopefully Hopefully I'll be able to recover them, but let's go take a look. Okay, there they are. The remaining plants. You can tell, <laughs> whoops, I guess that one probably should have come out sooner. Honestly, shocked. How do you look literally the same, ZZ, or what do we call you? Viola Davis is killing it. Obviously, snake plant literally feels just as firm as ever. Also, literally in 63 days have not watered these ones. Beyonce really has her hair down. This looks worse than it is because it just hasn't been watered. Normally, once I water it, after a day or so, it pops back up, but definitely lots of dying leaves. I need to save Beyonce. I'm sorry, bae. We'll take you out. So I'm not gonna take out Lady Gaga yet because even though she's losing leaves, she still looks stunning at the top. But you can see a ton of growth trying to find light all popping up all around. So I'm gonna bring her out as well. Still looks literally the same. So I'm taking Beyonce and we're taking out Charlie XCX. Let's go home, girls. 63 days. Still pretty reasonable choices if you're looking for a plant that can survive low light, let alone zero light. So I think I might have left this one a little too long, so I'm taking it out now. It is the Satin Pathos, otherwise known as Shakira. Not looking so good, but I'm hoping I can rehabilitate her and she'll come back. I hope this one doesn't die. All right, day 82, I think, and we've got Lady Gaga or the Chinese Evergreen they're gonna take out because there's a ton of leaves that are turning yellow, falling off. A lot of these top ones are still green. I technically could have kept it in a little longer, I think, but I didn't really want a plant that was just like a straight up tree. So unfortunately, I'd love to have not any more of it die so I can rehabilitate it. But I will say the parts that are green are very flourishing and you can really see this new growth coming out, presumably in the same way some of the other plants trying to find light, um, which obviously it was never going to. Did you think Lady Gaga should have won? <laughs> Should she have won? So while we're waiting for our final plants to fall, I want to take a second to thank today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. If you like learning about nature or science or honestly just learning at all, Curiosity Stream is perfect for you. It has thousands of streamable documentaries and nonfiction TV shows on topics like history, nature, science, food, technology, and travel. I just watched one called Nature's Mathematics, which is so cool and highlights how mathematical formulas recur in nature from snowflakes to the stripes on a zebra to flowers and trees. Curiosity Stream is basically smart TV for your smart TV and can be streamed from any device for viewing anytime, anywhere. If you head to curiositystream.com slash ASAPScience and use the code ASAPScience, you'll get their service for $14.99 for the entire year, which is wild. Like that's an amazing price. It also helps our show out a lot when you check out our sponsors. So definitely click that link, go over there, give Curiosity Stream some love. It does actually help our show. Now, Back to our final three plants. All right, it's day 89 and my favorite plant is suffering. Almost made it 100 days, but in the last little bit, it just totally fell over, started completely curling on so many of the leaves. It was doing that throughout, like sometimes at night or for a few days it would curl, but then they would open back up, but that seems to not be happening now. And so I'm just a little worried that it's gone through too much shock. I need to bring it out. I wanna bring it back into the light and hopefully rehabilitate it because this is my favorite one. I want this one to survive. So uh, it's still amazing that it made it 89 days without light. I think maybe I only watered this once. Definitely happy with that and hope I can bring it back to life.
It's day 100 and I'm honestly so shocked. I did not see any plant making it this far. I didn't even think they'd make it to like day 30. I thought by day 30 we have a clear winner or two. But we have two plants that have not only made it 100 days with zero light, they've also made it 100 days with zero water. So let's go take a look at them and see where they're at today. Come on. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Would you believe that this has not seen light for 100 days, has not touched water? from 100 days. Wait, you haven't Either watered it? Not a single drop of water in these wow. two. <laughs> Probably they need water now because they, they did redry. This one does have some Tiny yellow leaves, but that's now been there for probably over a month, these okay. like dying ones. But these sprouts in this wow. last month have really shot up. So my assumption is that it's starting to be like, okay, this location's not working. Time to find something taller, some light. Viola Davis will probably be happy to find some light. And the snake plant feels just as robust as it was with the day I put it in here. We got Severus and Viola Davis. Wow, they killed it. What that's an wild. odd pair. Let's get them out of here. Let's get them some Let's go. <laughs> so these are the clear two winners. Even though there were a couple others that made it to the 80, 90 day point, I had a really fun time doing this experiment. I now know uh, these are my first two little babies that I'm gonna take care of. Greg can take care of the rest now. I'll practice on these cause I can just like leave them in a corner and not worry about them. I hope for any other beginners out there, this might inspire you to think that you can do it. You can neglect a plant and keep it alive. Just don't overwater it. As Nick let us know, sometimes overwatering can actually be the problem. I'm amazed also because like I said, this is something I've never done. I feel like you essentially just put the plants in the closet. But all the plants are looking good. They'll find a permanent spot in our home now where they will forever receive at least sunlight. If you want to hear even more about houseplant care, Nick actually came on our podcast, which is on YouTube. We'll link it down in the description below or somewhere on the screen. He gave us some honestly mind-blowing advice about taking care of your houseplants. So go check that out. Otherwise, if you have suggestions for experiments or things you want us to do on this channel, let us know. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you next time for some more science. Peace.